really, really exciting. I mean, I think from day one before the movie even started, we knew this was going to be a hit. So uh, to be able to be here and see the premiere, I wasn't sure if I was going to be in L.A. because I live in Hong Kong. So um, I just happened to be here, and Rizzo's here, and we're like ready to see this thing. It's gonna be good. Yeah, I know it's like a, a dream team too for everybody. It's yeah. a project that was in the works for a while. Yeah, especially I think, you know, like a lot of us have martial arts backgrounds and been in martial arts movies, and I think for Rizza, it was a dream of his always to make a martial arts movie. So for all of us, it was about us wanting to make his dream come true, you know? So we all pulled together people like Kung Lee and me and um, Rick Yoon and everybody trying to help Rizza realize his dream, you know, his kung fu dream. Yeah, no, it's great. It's action-packed. It's so much fun. Like, what was it like for all of you to work together, you know, and, and break this all? Together? It was just a really great team of people, because you had, like, Quentin, you had uh, Eli, you had uh, Russell Crowe, Lucy Liu, a bunch of people that you probably wouldn't even see in one movie together, working together. And I remember one day I was on set, I walked off set, looked at the monitor, and they were all huddled around the monitor. And this is in Shanghai, where I normally work, right? I'm like, this is an interesting crew of people. This is going to be fun. And I, and, I, and I was just really excited about the whole thing all the way through. And what do you think is going to separate this from your typical martial arts film? I think because it's got the Wu-Tang flavor. You know what I mean? Like, most martial arts films are straight-up martial arts films, but this is made by a martial arts band who also created his own genre of hip-hop because of kung fu movies. And so he's going to meld those two things together. I mean, the Wu-Tang was my whole 90s experience. And so to be able to put that in a kung fu movie that's very typically known as a traditional type of thing, and, and make it new school is going to be fun. Yeah, the music really drives it. What, how, why do you think it was really important that he be the one to also do the soundtrack? Oh, he had to do the soundtrack. I mean, he's done so many great films like Kill Bill, Ghost Dog, and all that stuff. To not soundtrack his own movie would be crazy, you know? And um, even when we were making the movie, he had his laptop open, speakers on the monitor, and he's like, what about this? What about this? What about this? Just playing different music. So it was already done in his head. He's just, he had to do it, you know? I think, you know, part of being a director is not only having the creative vision, I think he had that because he's been a fan of Kung Fu movies since he was seven, so he knew exactly what he wanted. But also part of being a director is like learning how to control a crew of people, a bunch of actors. And I think, you know, from controlling Wu-Tang, like 13 dudes um, that are probably not the most organized people in the world, uh, to be able to do that on set would probably be his second nature, you know, and, and controlling a crew that was part Chinese, part American. Uh, part European, you know, and all of that, it, was, it seemed like easy for him. Um, I was really impressed, actually. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.